Hello everyone, this is Jopke and this is going to be an art journal page with the theme uh, sewing and it's actually going to be uh, a card for my um, son's girlfriend, my uh, to-be daughter-in-law, Avi, because she is celebrating her birthday this Tuesday the 14th of March and she's all into sewing and uh, she really loves doing that and so I thought this picture that I found in a magazine of uh, a flow magazine would be perfect for a card so this is going to be translated later on into a card that I will actually send to her um, for this project I'm working on again a piece of paper that I uh, from a magazine really because uh, I have this magazine that has quite thick pages I cut two pages out and uh, glue them together and that's my uh, surface for this art journal page and here I am tossing and tearing and uh, looking for the best way to glue down my pieces uh, for that I am using a Mod Podge and a spatula to glue everything down and um, um, again I made some mistakes with this uh, collaging uh, project um, it, it, it is all solved and it turned out very nice and pretty so I'm very happy but um, yeah especially with the background I have kind of a bit of trouble I knew the focal point is the sewing machine but all the rest yeah well um, maybe I should have put the part with uh, scribbled white lines on it uh, that I glued down um, should be on top of uh, the, the focal image uh, to cover some of the edges and I put it underneath it so maybe that's the thing I should do different uh, next time uh, then I have used a gesso to blend in everything um, um, on the background and here I am um, just trying because I'm not sure what to do to make it uh, one um, a whole really um, I use some neo colors I knew use some uh, sprays for the background uh, I use some acrylic paints for the background uh, I was really finding the best way to um, add some color and to make it all blend in with each other and um, eventually I found out that for me uh, using a sponge and acrylic paint is the best way uh, to make it um, to blend it all in um, it's softer in some way I'm, I'm not sure how I should say this but it's softer in some way so that worked for me and I um, used an acrylic paint by uh, Deco Ducraft I believe the artiste and this is a teal kind of aqua color and also a very light yellow kind of buttermilk yellow um, and my little sponge and that uh, kind of worked for me so here I'm very happy how it all turned out and I decided to glue some uh, pieces of um, thread cloches and I also uh, used some actual thread uh, under the images of the the cloches and um, what I do next I am going to stamp uh, I had this this stamp I believe it's from I'm not sure who it's from but it was perfect uh, for this page uh, so I used it with the black ink the stays on ink and I was very lucky it all turned out great because the surface I was working stamping on was very bumpy of course but it turned out perfectly and here I uh, had a pattern of 
sort of stitches that I use, also using a little uh, text uh, stamp. And it wasn't until I started editing this video that I n remembered I had this circled uh, stamp of stitches and I should have used that, but I totally forgot about it. Anyway, so here I am um, adding some details, some coloring, some shadows to the uh, the images of the the cloches. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. Um, give it a bit more dimension and trying um, to give it a bit more shadow. And I do that with the Faber Castell. Artist pit pants. And then it's time uh, to add some text. And this is a white acrylic paint and a stencil, a homemade stencil I got in Happy Mail from uh, Sunny. And um, I'm going to write uh, one stitch because that is a part of the quote I want to put on the page but I'm very careful I'm cleaning my stencil with every letter and uh, drying every letter because I don't want to make a mess so that will say one stitch and because I thought it was a little bit too soft uh, not enough contrast at uh, the battle of the white pens uh, begins uh, trying to uh, make it more stand out and I'm using a Posca I'm trying a Signo pen and it took a while but eventually it uh, worked so it um, it's more it's standing out more now and the rest of the quote says uh, beautiful things come together one stitch at a time and the part at a time I'm writing on a piece of paper, a strip of paper, coloring the edges with the Faber-Castell pen and I'm putting it down with a, 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 a quite a thick uh, score tape to lift it up a bit from the page. And here I thought uh, a, a bit more collaging would be fun and this is a tissue paper a script tissue paper I also got in happy mail from Anya and I'm just putting a few bits and pieces on the edges not much just a few bits I had some more uh, I had more laying around on my table um, I had this measurement uh, ribbon a sticker um, I had some hearts, but um, I decided not to use those because I thought the page was busy enough. Um, here I am adding a bit more shadow to the little piece of paper, the text uh, strip with the Faber-Castell artist pit pen. And to make a kind of a border for my page, I'm using the archival ink. It's a sepia. Um, to ink the edges of my page and then it's splatter time I'm doing that just a little bit with an, a homemade acrylic spray paint and then I think I'm ready so I am adding the date and also my signature but then I decided uh, a bit more dimension uh, um, at the the half circle would be okay so I'm using some neo colors for that and uh, a wet brush to um, blend it all in so that is a bit more contrast there and that's my page really so I took it to my scanner and I scanned it I printed it on um, nice glossy paper and this is going to be my card for um, Avi so here I'm writing a little note to uh, congratulate her with her birthday 
and that will actually be sent to her by mail. And well, if she like, likes to have the original, of course she can. So um, happy birthday, Evi. Van harte gefeliciteerd. Um, hope you all like this video and uh, see you again very soon. Bye bye.